Hello and welcome to another week of energy readings. We are looking at the week of January the 22nd to the 28th. 28. So we are looking at the week of January 22nd to 28th, 2018. So let's have a look at the individual star signs. Uh, sorry, the overall energy first. Let's have a look at the overall energy before we go into the individual star signs. Shall we do that? Okie dokie. Let's look at the overall energy for the week of January 22nd to 28th. And let's see what's going on for all of us. So for this week, it's important to pay attention to the progress you have made and not just in in the new year because it's a pretty new new year <laughs> but um, have a look at how much progress you have made in your spiritual teachings um, and this is not about saying well i really understand that this is happening and i really understand the universe or what kind of thing or understand uh, the colors of the chakras it's not about um specifics it's understanding that we are always going through changes and that we are continue that we are continuously uh, learning and um, this week for all of us as the overall energy it's um, important to realize that we have made progress you know and as as as, as with all individuals everybody makes progress in their own and on their own term and in their own time <coughs> and at their own pace but the most important thing this week and we will probably have more uh, in the individual star signs in a bit um, is to realize that we have made progress really really important um, and the emphasis is on paying attention to how much um, you uh, allow people and situations to upset you because that's really another measure of, of realizing that um, you're responding to other people's impetus and some of them do this on purpose so this is where you say like no i know myself worse or i don't have to defend myself here because i haven't done anything wrong this kind of thing so that's the progress we um all should look at um the other thing is we have we have the gray fox so it's all about understanding that we are all old souls and um no matter how difficult our surroundings are we will all find a way to sustain ourselves in it. So let's not go into panic this 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 week. If things come to you that are difficult, um, let's just say a, a serious letter. Read it detached. Look at it detached. Ask the universe for guidance before you go into a pattern of 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 uh, nervousness, uh, you know, or uh, panicking kind of thing. So that's just what the overall energy is for this week. And uh, now, by now, we have actually moved into um, into um, Aquarius. So the first star sign uh, for today is actually Aquarius. Let's have a look. Aquarius actually have quite a good week. In the sense that um, remember the overall energy was about uh, realizing how much progress you have made and you have the butterfly and the buffalo so you are ready for new beginnings you are ready to really run free this is your week to start over this is also your week to really see things through um, and go um, with all your heart towards what you feel is right for you do not pay attention to um, people's opinions. A lot of people mean well and they probably even have um, experience, but in life, reality is if you are drawn to something, it doesn't necessarily have to make sense to other people. They not, they're not on your journey. They may be a part of it, but your journey, all our journeys, is still our own. So if you're drawn to something, um, this is not a week to be discouraged. This is the week to say like, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, right? So that's um, the main message here for Aquarius. Um, going into Pisces. P 
prices very similar to the overall uh, energy that that we, that we had. Um, uh, we have to continue this week um, to stay in the overall energy and and look at the progress we have made in life. And remember that we will always be sustained, that we will always be supported by the universe. In other words, this might be a little bit of a slow week where not much is really happening for us Pisces. But um, nonetheless, the, the message is to uh, be in reflective mode and realize that you're still around <laughs> and, um, and that you will be just fine. We will all be just fine. I, I say all because I'm, I'm Pisces. We will all be just fine. So, um, nothing to worry about, really, um, apart from the fact that they're asking us not to really go into, into panic mode or overthinking. It's another really important thing um, when you are a, a, a deep person and, you know, in tune with, with your guides and stuff, um, things can come to, 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 to you um, and you could be over-analytical. And uh, sometimes you have to see how it all plays out uh, to get the answers, if that, if that makes sense, right? So that was Pisces going into Aries. For Aries this week, it's quite important to um, live a, myth a mythical life, a life of magic. So this is a good week if you are so inclined to do uh, spells or um, say mantras, um, drum, join a Reiki circle, whatever it is you do spiritually, especially walking and dancing around fire, uh, for instance. Um, all these things are really important to do this week. Um, as best as you can uh, time-wise and uh, surrounding-wise. But um, the main message for you is as you are going and um, embrace spirituality more and do things just for your growth and for your soul and for your empowerment, you need to realize this week you are perfect just the way you are. For Aries, really important this week, you are perfect just the way you are. And that's all we got going into Tauruses. Okay, there's already a pattern that I can see here from um, what we have talked to far in the individual star sign. And the pattern for this week is to be in the mode and in the mood for uh, um, stepping back a little bit and let things happen. And um, don't rush, don't panic, just uh, pay attention, be observant. So that's sort of the pattern and the vibe we're getting for this week. And uh, Taurus's um, you too this week. Um, this is a good week. You have a week of clarity, if that makes sense. It doesn't mean that the other weeks are not <laughs> somewhat clear to you. But this week, a lot of stuff falls into place and will fall into place, where you kind of go like, oh, oh, I, I'm beginning to get it now. All right. And um, what they're saying to you is let things come to you. It's really important uh, to not chase anything. Um, things will fall into place uh, for you this week. Uh, but there's no urgency in doing something about anything. This is the week of saying, like, I, I, I get it and I will respond, but um, on my own terms and in my own time, if that makes sense, right? So that's Tauruses going into Gemini. Gemini <laughs> need feistiness and I'm sure there's a lot of feistiness inside you uh, being feisty is not it's not a, a negative thing if that makes sense it just means that you stand up for your rights <coughs> and that you that you say um, how you feel because that's what you have to do this week you have the screech owl and the ferret so um, there's a part of you that is really well super intelligent really you you understand things easily um, you're not easily fooled. What happens is when you are being fooled is when you allow it. So this is the way to realize that there are people that are not really listening to you. They're, they're probably um, manipulative. 
towards you. And this is the week to uh, draw them out and tell them that you expect them to be um, on your side and to be uh, truthful and to not bother you with their uh, negative and low energy comments. So that's the week for you to, to not take stuff, not, um, you know, allow people that are, and I don't mean this in a, in, in a bad way, but, you know, if, uh, if there are people in your life that are um, quite needy, for instance, um, you, you, you can be a good friend, but if their neediness, and I say this as a, I know it's a, it's a tough word, but um, their constant bombardment uh, of uh, talking to you about their issues and somehow tr um, asking you for advice um, kind of thing um, is one of the issues in uh, in this life they can hold you back no end so this is a week where you tell them to back off a little bit okay that was Gemini going into Cancerians Cancer For Cancerians this week, it's important to realize that you create your reality, you create your energy. This is a week where it is perfectly normal and perfectly fine for you to reach for the stars. But in order for you to achieve something this week, you have to go like, yeah, this is a good week, I have a good time. It's really, really important. Um, the other thing this week that is important is to not be boxed in. Right? So if you, if you feel that um, you're trapped somehow, uh, free yourself. And what it means is um, nobody expects you to uh, necessarily walk away from stuff, you know. But um, you could be also trapped in, in your thought patterns. And uh, freeing yourself just means that, let's just say you're in your, you're in your house or you're in your flat or whatever. And you have a lot of thoughts coming in that... Um, well, that are low energy thoughts and that drag you down. Go for a walk. And while you are going for a walk, put on the headphones, listen to some uplifting music and, and, and um, allow yourself to think of something else um, for as long as this low energy uh, grid that hangs over you um, is resolved. So um, that's one way of, 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 of getting out of it. But it's important for you to... Um, to, well, in a way, reach for the stars, to say, like, you know, the sky is the limit, and if you want something else from life, now is the time to start manifesting it, okay? Short and sweet for Cancerians, going into Leo now. Leo. Leo. Nothing to worry about this week for Leo. You have the big horn sheep and the hummingbird. Both of these uh, spirit guides denote um, uh, safety. Uh, so the big horn sheep hangs on two legs on a cliff and doesn't fall. It also has antlers, which means there is protection around you. Um, the hummingbird is one of those few birds, like the kingfisher, that can work on, on any tree, no matter how crooked it is. And the tree represents your life. So no matter how affected you are in life, because you are both the tree and the hummingbird. And the hummingbird can work any tree, uh, no matter how difficult it is. Um, so the message here is, in analogy, is to realize that um, you're doing fine in life. And things will and can um, improve and will improve as long as you keep going. So this is a week where you have to realize that if you are beginning to give up, that's when your energy goes low, if that makes sense. So, so sit with the issues that you have um, and just reflect on them and then allow yourself with high energy to uh, find solutions or ask your guides or ask, ask friends you know, for advice, this kind of thing. But do it all in a high energy because this week there's really not much happening um, that puts you in peril of any thoughts or any kind. Okay? That's Leo going into Virgo.
For Virgos this week, it's really important to be calm, to be in your softest mode, if that makes sense, where your your empathy, your heart really shines. Um, it doesn't mean that you are um, less vulnerable when when obviously as you know when you when you are wearing your heart on the sleeve. Um, you open yourself up to people that probably uh, could do with a little bit of help but are not there yet and therefore they're sort of invading your space. So you have to have uh, protection this week. You know, um, I have no idea how you how you do it but there's obviously mantras, there's, you know, there's spells, there's um, uh, pendulums drawing vortexes, there's drumming, there is um, a lot of things that give you, um, and protection is probably the wrong word, but um, this this feeling of uh, being guarded is quite important uh, to have that around you uh, as you go through this week. Uh, because this week for you um, ought to be a week where you, um, you are wearing your heart on the sleeve and where you um, infuse love into all situations even if um, love would be otherwise absent from it. Right, so difficult situations you see them from the highest point of view and it will also um, make you aware that your journey no matter how this journey feels to you your spiritual journey is far from over so should this be a week where you feel a little bit stuck just sit with it acknowledge it say yeah i am i am feeling stuck and then just take a deep breath and um, and march forward so that's um that's virgo going into libra For Libras this week, it's really important to look at yourself, look at your self-worth, your self-esteem. Because um, what you need to realize is that you are precious. And, and the other thing this week is once you realize that you are precious, you realize that you belong um, with people, that you belong with your tribe, so to speak. So. When you have the feeling of being isolated or, 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 or being alone, um, it's either that you are in, as a matter of fact, um, or in point of fact, with people where you can't grow, if that makes sense, with people who can't see your full value, and it's time to uh, assess if that's the case, and then pay attention um, and say to your guides, um, thank you for... Uh, the like-minded people. The easiest way to manifest always is, is by, by phrasing it as if it had already happened. So that's what you need to do uh, here. Your, 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 your vital part of um, the community you live in and your vital part of the group of people you surround yourself with, if that makes sense. And, um, but this week is your week to realize that you are, in fact, precious. And um, uh, precious things, precious people, um, ought to be seen as special because you truly are, if that makes sense. Okay? So that was Libra going into Scorpio. When I did um, the... Uh, sorry about that, Scorpios. When I, when I read the Libra cards, um, I had a song in my head um, called Precious by Depeche Mode and it's kind of a song that goes like Things get damaged, things get broken I thought we'd managed, but words left unspoken Left us so brittle, there was so little left to give And when this song came through, I just forgot to mention it, sorry about that um, It is um, um, a reminder for those of you that go through relationships um, that are ending or have ended is to realize that you have the right to grieve and that you have the right to um, be burdened about it for as long as it takes uh, for you to get this out of your system. What you shouldn't be doing is to think that you deserve any of that. You know, 
you don't deserve any low uh, uh, energy at all. Um, just wanted to say this because the, the, the guys just kept singing this song to me, so I, I, I sort of knew we're not quite finished with Libra. So going into Scorpio now. We're continuing the theme of um, seeing things coming and reflecting, because that's the job that a Scorpio has this week. Um, see things coming for and, and, and reflect on things when they as they come to you. See them for what they truly are. And then um, seek a vantage point, which means a point of detachment, a point of um, not being in, in, uh, in drama at all. Uh, but see it as a point of um, clarity. Uh, look for this precipice really um, to to uh, reflect on your life so um, overall we only have um, Sagittarius and Capricorn left before we, 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 we're done for for this week um, but um, the overall energy uh, ha has been quite reflected in all the star signs or in most star signs so far this week so this is a week in a, on a whole to um, to not make massive decisions and not chase things but rather see where you are in life and especially see the progress you have made in life okay so let's go into Sagittarius ah, card falls out <laughs> wants to be read For Sagittarius this week, it's really important to show your softer side. And remember that there is strength in being gentle and in being kind. So this week it's important to not have your... your I wouldn't say, say you can let your guard down. It's, it's more a case of realizing that when you are in pushing away mode, that's all you achieve. You, you push situations and people away, it doesn't necessarily solve anything. Um, so this week they're asking you to be uh, much softer in how you respond to situations. So um, it's a little bit like, like I mentioned in another star sign earlier, where um, being in the, the mode of truly being empathetic and truly being... Um, Forgiving is the wrong word, but but reflecting and realizing that that everyone you meet um, is fighting their own battle, and sometimes people overreact or are negative because they really they really are uh, looking for for help, and they just can't express it right. So um, so this is this is what happens uh, th this week uh, for for Sagittarius is to really be um, in your softer side and and remember that you're not losing any strengths while you are being um, gentle, okay? Going into uh, Capricorn, last star sign of the week. Just wanna have a look at the cards here that I've just used. So, we're in Capricorn, last star sign for today. Um, the message here too is to be calm and to realize that you are surrounded by uh, your, your, your guides, you are surrounded by, by beautiful people, you are surrounded by, by, uh, uh, a good, by good people. And if you say, well, that's not me, um, where I work, all the people are horrible, um, all the people I, I live with are horrible, then what the guides are saying is, now you see it, now you change it. It's really, really important. It's really about reflecting. Um, and the, the reason why I'm saying this is, is because for Capricorn this week, you need to look at your individuality. 
uh, recognizing how you how you function, how you truly are, and you may find that you are very different to a lot of people, uh, but that doesn't make you the odd one out. Uh, it just makes you a very unique person, and um, and thus fitting in might be a bit of an issue. In reality, is we don't need more sheep. We don't need more sheep. We need people that are individuals. So what the guides are saying to you is, you can trust um, that that you being unique and you being individual is exactly and precisely what you came here with. And that's your true strengths. Okay? So that's all we got for this week. Thank you again for uh, watching the video. Uh, keep doing it. I always try to record uh, weekly. Um, Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> um, I, I, I put this here, uh, you know, in this little thing at the bottom here, um, how you can find us on, 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 on Facebook, um, where you can access um, this video again, and, and um, other week's videos, and, and obviously next week's video as well. So um, thank you very much, and I see you all very soon. Bye-bye.